What's going on, beautiful people? Happy hump day. As you know, it's your man, Deontay, here to give you guys a nice Orlando weekly market report. As you guys should know by now, every Wednesday, just to ease your mind and just make this thing, this real estate thing, so much simpler for you so you guys don't have to worry about doing it yourself, okay? Um, as you guys know, we are at the Aura site that gives us a nice... Um, a nice, what's the word I want to use today, guys? Compilation, I guess. <laughs> um, just gives us some nice uh, stats on what's going on in our market. So as of last week in April, uh, for single family homes, we see that the sales increased. So as we're approaching that summertime, that's what we're gonna continue to start seeing. Kids are starting to get out of school, um, college. Um, they just finished their finals, a number of colleges. So people are starting to go home and, and settle in and that's a perfect time to sell your, your, your home around that area where you have some free time and you don't have to worry about moving within the year. So we're seeing the those increases. I think that's um, two weeks in a row because last week, the, the sales increased as well. However, we see the, the price decrease, the median price decrease, 1.4%. But we've kind of seen that fluctuation over the entire month of April. So I don't see it being too big of a, a deal. We've hovered around that 255 to 260 median price which isn't bad at all for those who are um, in those price ranges and, and looking to sell. And those commas look good to you. Um, definitely holla at me. We can go get it without a doubt. And I'm pretty sure I could get higher than that. Because <laughs> this is what I'm, I do, man. I'm a pro. This is what we do, man. This is the, the, the living that we chose. And it's just fun to uh, exceed what the, the market says that the... Uh, averages or the medians. Um, as we go down here, for all my people that love the foreclosures, check that out. Um, and then our short sales, we have that down there. Um, inventory decreased by one. I've never seen that before. But we're still under 7,000. So stuff is coming up off the market. Uh, it's, what this is showing me is people are buying. People are, are definitely buying. Um, and that's a, a good thing because I love to be able to put a product up on the market and have it have it sold like that um, and just rinse and repeat rinse and repeat have that all for for you guys it just does my my soul good when you guys come to me holla at me and you're like hey I got this house to sell and I was like not a problem we gonna get this thing sold it's gonna be easier than you even thought it would be <laughs> So let's scroll down to our condos and townhomes. As you guys are gonna see, um, those prices decreased, or I mean the, the sales decreased. Um, however, the, the prices increased 0.4%, which isn't really anything to, to me. Um, but like I said, similar to the single family homes, these um, increases and decreases have kind of been hovering around these same numbers so it's not too drastic of a of a um, increase or decrease um, this past month and then check it out you got your foreclosures nothing there and then our short sales nothing really there as well so um, the market is doing what it's doing um, especially in the single family area we're continuing to see um, increases in sales the prices, in my opinion, are, aren't that bad. They're pretty healthy. So, so now's the time to definitely reach out to, to someone like me so we can sit down and evaluate your specific um, situation to see how we can put them commas, them five, six figures in your pocket, baby. <laughs> That's what it's all about. So as we move on, what I'm going to do is hop over to the website, as you guys know. And let's check out some new listings. I want to see Window Shop a little bit. See what we got going on in the, the Orlando area. So just listed. Ooh, first thing caught my eye right here. This Winter Garden property. They got it at 419. 
Let's view the details on this gangster. See what they did. See how it's looking. See where we at with it. 419, built 2014. Um, five bedrooms, four bathrooms, 3,000 square feet. So it's a, it's a big boy. It's a big boy for sure. Stop moving ready. That's what we all want to hear. We have some nice upgrades in there. Um, appliances look like they're stainless. 42 inch cabinets. Nice, nice. Um, fenced in yard. Okay, I see y'all. Y'all did y'all thing on this gangster. Um, they got a clubhouse, a pool, playground, tennis court, a fitness center. Did I see that in there? They got a fitness center in there. That's what I'm talking about. Let's check out these pictures, people. Nice garage in there. Check out that driveway. Wow. Hey, this is what I'm talking about when you guys are are looking to, to sell your home. You see the difference? Professional photography, drone footage, it really sells the home. Um, I don't know if these people are still living here, but uh, if they are, it looks good. You know, they kept it clean, concise, and if it's staged, it's even better. Check out our, our nice island. I like the, the feature that they did with the island at the bottom, the stones. That's pretty dope. Um, stainless appliances, like we said before, just great, clean, bright pictures for us to, to see and get an idea of how we would want to um, live in this property. Great job. Looks like they made a little workout room. Workout room, check that out. The workout room with the TV. I'm not sure how that goes. Um, I would take that couch out. Because <laughs> if I see the couch or I see the bike, you know what? I might just want to take a nap. You feel me? Master bedroom. Check out the master bath. Just a nice, clean, solid house. Uh, this is the girls' room. Obviously, we got the pinks and the purple. Um, so if you have a daughter, uh, that looks like it's going to be perfect for, for her. You guys don't even have to change anything, really. Got the washer and dryer out there. Got the screened-in porch. Just a nice, concise home, man. Looks great. We got the, the tiles on the roof. Um, and kind of, we see the, the neighborhood as a whole. Great job to the photographer, whoever took the pictures of this. Rec center, tennis. So... You guys see the, the address over there. Reach out to me if you want to see something like that for sure. This is a, a nice, nice looking home. Really like what, what they did with it in regards to just having it up here on the internet for it to take a look at. That's how you do it, people. That's how you sell a home. I guarantee you this won't be on the market for long. Um, so let's wrap it up. I want to check out, um, oops, what do we do here? I want to check out, um, oh, okay, my bad. I want to check out um, more detailed in regards to the single family homes that sold last month. I want to really kind of see where we're at with that in regards to median, average, maximum um, pricing. So I'm over here on my MLS, and as you see, I'm going through the filters to give us exactly what I want. I don't want any special sale provisions. The only properties I want to look at are single family homes because that's what I specialize in and getting those gangsters sold. So um, once again, you see over here, it's the sold area. I'm going to knock this down to 30 days. So last month, we're going to get a nice concise number to see what was going on last month in Orlando. So already we got 857 matches, which is 857 homes that have sold. So let's jump over there, see what we we got. And this gives us a great idea um, in regards to how you evaluate properties, how you know what's going on in the market, price um, per square foot, you know, the average homes that are selling. This is how, you know, real estate professionals like myself are able to get this type of information. Looking over these things every week um, and just staying on top of our game. So as you see, I click right here um, all to capture all the properties. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to our stats bar and just go ahead and have it compile it for us to give us a nice little chart. So boom, 
we got it right here um so i jumped to the average i like looking at the average so the average um in orlando homes that were sold was at three hundred six thousand dollars so that's pretty good that's pretty good so those of you that are in that price range or are expecting to get that for their their home reach out man it's the, these are the numbers these are the numbers the market is telling you that's the average that's what um we can expect so that's some encouraging news we got the medium price um 268 not bad at all um uh, maximum home that sold in the past 30 days is two mil i would love to talk to somebody that got something like that man that's a great success story that's coming soon i'm i'm saying it now i'm gonna get a a, a million dollar uh property sold this year i just feel it you gotta speak things into existence people that's what it's all about so i'll be making sure i doc document that for you guys when we have that million dollar property and we're gonna celebrate together drinks will be on me all right <laughs> and then we got this looks definitely like a um a flip fifty thousand dollars of the low price i love those too man i love to buy them ugly so send them all my way let's look at that average day on market days to contract 57 days days to close 96 um average days on market that's what that is um, 51 days so that's not too bad the average um like i said i like to um compete with myself compete with the the averages um in the market and i would like to cut something like that in half not even you know my my goal is to get that thing sold under 10 days i like those single digits you know if at all possible which i'm confident in being able to do to do and even if we don't reach that you know i'm still beating the the market average which is you know all somebody wants so thank you guys as always for for tuning in check this out if you guys want me to evaluate a specific property go ahead and drop that in the comment section below and next week um live on video i'll evaluate the property and give you a a, a estimate and a evaluation on um what that property may be be worth and if you want to move forward in selling or not really appreciate you guys showing love uh tuning in uh give me any feedback you guys want and different things you guys want to know about the orlando market i'd love to include that in the videos and and remember people in real estate there are only two people that can give you exactly what you want that's d and you all right peace